everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. SMT Nation, welcome back to the channel. We are testing Verizon 5G home internet. Glad to have you for this one. Uh, we're testing three devices, and in sequence, we've got the Samsung Galaxy S22 to the left. We got the iPhone 14 Pro Max in the middle, and then the Google Pixel 7 on the right. All connected to the same network, uh, the Verizon 5G home internet. And what we're going to do is we're testing it at, uh, what is it, about 6.15 a.m.? So we're giving you guys the early morning testing edition of the service. Uh, and I've got the 9 a.m. test coming up, and then we'll do the 12 p.m. And then we'll hit the 3 p.m., the 6 p.m., the 9 p.m., and then the midnight. We're going to try to nail each one of those times as I film throughout the week at those opportunities. So I'll be dropping those videos periodically. Uh, but we're just going to do this and see how it performs during those different times of the day. So let's go ahead and open up our speed test apps, and we can get to testing this to see how it performs, but all three are on the same network and they're on the Verizon 5G home, which is right there, okay? So, um, distance isn't gonna be an issue. How far away it is, you know, how far away the devices is, devices are uh, to the gateway and no, no modifications, just the regular old gateway. Let's start with the Galaxy here to the left. Um, this one is the S22, not the Ultra, uh, not the Plus or anything like that. Zoom in a little bit for you guys here. The expectation is that we're getting the promised up to speeds of 300 megabits per second downlink and 20 megabits per second uplink. And we are in the lower level of the SMT HQ. All right, then we got some measures are done here. All right, a 36 millisecond ping a four millisecond jitter, a loaded download ping of 94, and a loaded upload ping of 409, 316 megabits down, and just a shy under 23 megabits up. Pretty good stuff from the Galaxy there. Let's go ahead and test the iPhone now in the middle here. Pretty close. Let's go ahead and zoom out. And once we get each individual phone tested, I will go ahead and do a multi-device pull and see how that does. Uh, we'll do a two device test and then a three device test. Okay. All right, so we got a ping time of 33 milliseconds, a jitter of one millisecond. That's good. Uh, download ping of 311 and then the upload ping uh, a little bit higher. Wow, at uh, 1,511. So 332 down and 10 up. No idea what happened with the uplink there. Uh, looking at the iPhone versus the Galaxy. Basically like less than half the throughput. It's interesting. Let's go ahead and test the Pixel 7. Not to be confused with the 7 Pro if that matters. Well, I'm, I'm kind of shocked how different the Galaxy versus the iPhone is. Usually though... You know, the hardware on the Galaxy is better. Don't tell anybody. You don't want anybody getting mad. Okay. Pixel. Got some measures here. 32 ping. 6 jitter. A loaded download ping of 102. And a load, loaded upload ping of 338. 310 down and 21 up. Okay, so the lagger in this test uh, happens to be the iPhone. And I'm not really sure why. Let's see if maybe we can kind of figure out what happened there. Maybe we just got a random test or something that didn't do well. Hmm. Make sure we're connected to the right Wi-Fi. Sure are. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. If you guys have a guess as to why this is the case let me know in the comment section okay 331 down 14 up 31 ping 2 jitter loaded ping of 82 milliseconds that's really good and then a loaded upload ping of 1109 interesting stuff 
All right, let's go ahead and do a multi-pull. We'll start with the Galaxy, and then we'll do the iPhone. So we'll do these two together. One should be getting more throughput than the other, whichever one we started with usually seems to be the case. Wow, although they both seem to be pulling pretty good. Huh. Not usually what I see. <laughs> All right, so uh, what we got on this test with the two devices at the same time, the download wasn't an issue at all. The uplink, a very troubling <laughs> performance. All right, so the Galaxy finished at 206 down and 23 up. And the iPhone finished at 249 down and 9 up. Uh, really, the limiting factor there seems to be the upload. Right, it was pretty low, but then when they finished, uh, it was a different story here. Okay, let's let's do the Pixel and then the iPhone at the same time. Let's see what we get there. All right, now the Pixel started first. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, the ping time much higher on the iPhone because it started second. Download ping's really good on these tests so far. The upload ping has been a little bit off for some of the tests. It's an interesting testing session in this video. All right, the... Uh, the Pixel 7 finished at 264 down and 15 up. The iPhone at 186 and 13. So that's pretty good stuff. Let's go ahead and let's do all three at the same time. Somewhat at the same time. All right, so we'll start with the Pixel and then we'll move our way along here. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll see how things turn out. All right, we started with the pixel on the right. We moved our way to the left on this particular test. So we're expecting that the Galaxy gets the least amount of bandwidth, or least amount of throughput, I should say. Doesn't mean it won't be good enough. Simulating a, you know, having several devices on the network. Nothing else should probably be connected to this right now. No TVs are running in the house way too early. Everybody's sleeping, except the SMT. <laughs> All right, the Pixel finished at 242 down and 12 up. Wow, with a loaded ping of 132 and upload ping of 183. Those are really good. All right, so there's that. The uh, Pixel. The iPhone finished at 175 down and 6 up. There's that limitation on the uplink. The rest of the metrics were great, though. 33 ping, 113 download ping, 85 upload ping, 5 jitter. And then the uh, the Galaxy kind of last of the Mohicans get the last pull on the downlink, so you'll see it gets the least amount of throughput. 44 down, 13 up, 30 ping, and then a 105 download ping and a 119 upload ping with 7 millisecond jitter. All right, so that's this morning's testing, folks. What do you guys think? How did they perform? How did the devices perform? How did the Verizon 5G Home perform? How did it hold up? 300 megabits down, 20 megabits up, the promised service, or the up to speeds, I should say, in the lower level of the SMTHQ at about 6, 6.30 in the morning here. Uh, what do you guys think of the testing? Um, what do you think of the service so far? We got more rounds coming, so keep it locked and tuned for more coverage on the Verizon 5G Home. Like, share, subscribe for more, interact and engage with the content. Uh, make sure that you do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss uploads. Big shout out to my patrons and my YouTube members for supporting me on these platforms and making content on this channel possible. Also, comment down below what you want to see me test on this service. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.